Hi friends, welcome to Tutors Funny channel. Today I am going to teach how to make the book inventory control system using Java. Uh, I am writing the code on NetBeans ID. So here I have already uh, opened NetBeans. Here first go to the file, new project. I am going to create the new project here. Select Java, Java application, click next. Here it asks to create the project name. I am going to give the project name as book inventory. Here after that here if it is check create main class here you have to uncheck this one and click finish. Right. Now your new project has been created successfully with the name of book inventory. Uh, existing projects we have to close other projects we no need this one we only we have to code this only this project only here to open now here this is your uh, project directory um, book inventory in uh, your project uh, folder consists of two folders source package and libraries here first what I am going to do is here expand the source package here here if you expand this one its default uh, package will be it, it will be so here here what I'm going to do is here select this default package right click new Java package I'm going to create the new package as book create the new package as book right you can give any name of here as a package name I'm giving as a book right now your new package has been created successfully book select the package right click new uh, J, uh, J frame form here I'm going to create the new form first thing I am going to create the form as book right here book click finish right perfect now your uh, first form has been created successfully book right now here we have to increase the size of the form like this after that what I am going to do is here uh, I am going to drag one uh, go to the palette and drag one label and uh, select the label and drag on the uh, frame and you have to edit this one edit text you have to name it as book book right this one right click properties here we have to uh, change the size as with bold 36 this one should be reading 36 right after that what I am going to do is here I am going to go to the palette again I am drag one panel here this one is a panel this panel I am going to we have to alright here we have to right click properties background color I am going to change it as this color that like this color click ok background color right now here uh, go to the border this border property here I am going to select the border as select the border as this one soft bevel border right click ok right this one perfect now what I am going to do is here I am going to go to the palette again drag label this one should be book name this one should be status right here right click you have to give the name as book name right this one should be right click status right now what I'm going to do is here I'm going to increase the size of these two text uh, text box uh, uh, labels we have to increase the size of these fonts so click on these uh, two labels uh, select this one Hold on the control key down in your keyboard and select another things this one and right click properties here you have to font this property select this font property with bold select the size as 14 click ok and change the foreground color as white click ok perfect right perfectly done after what I, after that what I am going to do is here go to the palette again drag the text field here this one should be the text field I am going to drag 
another one I'm going to drag as a combo box you have to drag right this thing is a very important stuff right perfect after that what I'm going to do is here I need the uh, buttons for add the decors into the database so I need, I need the buttons so uh, what I'm going to do is here go to the palette and drag the buttons so here this one add button right second one I'm going to drag here this one should be edit after that I'm going to drag another button delete this one for cancel right perfect right we designed the things successfully right this is a simple form right only we have two fields book name and status right after that we need another one thing is uh, I'm going to drag one um, J table here so go to the palette and drag one panel here we have to put like this right here I'm going to drag the J table inside this panel so you have to get the uh, J table here here this J table you have to drag here right now here we have to reduce the size of that Now what I'm going to do is here, this default clause we need to uh, remove, select this uh, J table, right click, property, sorry, right click, table contents, go to the row, we have to, ref default clause we need to delete, select and delete, right, after that what I'm going to do is here, go to the columns, we have to name this one, first one should be, we have to book ID, book ID, so book ID this one should be we have to select as integer second one should be book name book name string this one should be status string this one select this one delete right close it perfect Now what I'm going to do is here, I'm going to run the application project and check, select this frame, right click, properties, here we have to go to the code and generator center, close it. Now here we have to run the project, right, it's successfully, uh, when I run the project, it successfully uh, display at the center, right, perfect. Now I'm going to uh, this goes, uh, close the project and go to the select the text box right click edit text backspace to remove the existing text and here we have to right click change variable we have to give the name as txt book right txt book this one right click change variable as txt status right that's it after that we have to do another stuff is select the combo box right click here we have to go to the properties go to the model this is a default model select this one here we have to default model we get backspace to remove instead of that we have to write uh, this one active and deactive deactive right right click ok close it perfect that's the thing we have to do right after that what I am going to do is here uh, I am going to connect the database so uh, I am connected the database as uh, MySQL server database so if you are not installed the 
uh, MySQL server in your machine you have to install that one here uh, you go and download this if you are not installed exam server in your machine you have to download the exam server in your machine in order to connect uh, SQL, MySQL server database okay you have to go to this uh, uh, website and you will be able to download right you will be able the latest version you will be able to download after that you have to install this one exam server after installed you have to connect this one right you have to right click and you have to connect start uh, apache and mysql right after that you have to go to the localhost this is the exam server da da dashboard click php my admin right here you have to you will be able to create the database right now i'm going to click new i'm going to create the new database here i'm going to simply create the database as book inventory i just give as book inventory right inventory this is my database name click next first table i'm going to create as book table uh, we have three columns click go first one should be id ID should be auto incremented so uh, data type int with uh, length 11 index primary this one primary and primary with auto increment right here I am going to second column should be book name so we have to select as B name this one should be watcher 5 characters after that this one should be status Test status also we have to give as a watcher and we have to give as a characters right that's the thing we have to do right very simple now click save right now your table has been created successfully here right after that what i'm going to do is here we have to connect mysql server and your netbeans right your java you have to connect right how to connect is you have to download the driver okay this is very important stuff okay if you are if you want to uh, connect mysql server and java you need to download this one right this is very essential thing right you have to download simply mysql connector for java if you uh, search like this this is the first link you just click on this link and you will be able to download the driver right click on this link it goes to the appropriate website for download come down here here you have to download the zip file right click on this button the right side you have a button click download it goes to another website for download here you no need to log, log in or sign up you just click on the below link no ta no thanks just my download uh, no thanks just start my download click on this link your download has been started below here right uh, here uh, i am not uh, downloaded right now because i already download the connector so i just cancel it you have to download okay i i already downloaded download and i have put into my f drive okay here the connector is if it if the connector is downloaded it's uh download as a zip file it's look like this you click on this uh, folder right click and select the option and extract all and if you click extract button it's become a norm it's created as a normal folder look like this right these are the relevant these two uh, files we need to access these two jars where we need to uh, include in my project so go here here there will be the we have, we have uh, project folder consists of two major folders source package and libraries select the library folder right click add jar folder here this is the uh, where you download uh, your uh, is a mysql connector in your machine you go to the location i have put into my f drive so f drive folder name is mysql connector java these two bins we need it so we have to import and into my library so select them and click open right now it successfully is open inside the libraries here okay here it's open right successfully it's uh, it, it will be we can uh, get here right? important successfully now what i am going to do is here 
we have to write the code so let's go to the source this is a design view we go to the source view this is a book class uh, book class this is the constructor of the class after the constructor I am going to write the connection here right first I am going to write the connection connection object con right after that we have to write another one is a prepared statement prepared statement PST right so here this is not an error click on this one and add the import the uh, class connection class after that you have to import the same as import for java sql preparation this one right you have to start right here is successfully add the package above right after that what i'm going to do is here i'm going to create the method we have to establish a connection between mysql server and uh, java so we have to write the method you have to connect right here we have to write the class right now here we have to write class dot for name you have to write the driver com dot my sql dot jdbc dot driver you have to write the class like this after that it's it is not error click on this one you have to import the try and catch block right after that we have to write another thing is a uh, connection object you have created above get the connection object equal you have to write driver manager dot get connection if you have to write first one is a url you have to write the url as jdbc we are your uh, in in mysql you have to give as a your database name here say the mysql server localhost localhost what's the database name you have created here go to this, this. inside the localhost data book right you have to give it like this right this is the connection you have to give here we have to write is a username as root uh, default password as when you install the exam server in your machine default password will be blank so you have to write like this right that's the thing you have to do after that you have to end the statement it show the error it's not an error you have to import the catch right this is how you have to write the path mysql path right simple after that what i'm going to do is here is everything perfect uh, when you when you start the project we have control c to copy this connection we have to paste after the initialization the constructor here when the when you run the project this uh, form the connection will be initialized right that's the thing we have to write after that what i'm going to do is here we have to write the insert code so select this one add but right click event action action perform now here what i'm going to do is here first thing uh, this one if the user entered the text on this uh, text field it is assigned to the relevant variable we have to do so we have what i'm going to see here right string b book name book name equal you have write txt and uh, what is the text box name this one select this one right click change variable txt book txt book dot get text right here after that you have to write string status equal txt status dot get you have to write get uh, selected item dot to string right that's the thing we have to write okay after that what i'm going to do is here we have to write uh, prepare statement object here pst this one pst equal you have to write connection con dot prepare statement you have to write here is we have to write insert code insert into what is the database you are going to insert the record book database uh, book table right so book you have to write what are the columns names available here book b name and status 
you have to write b name and status b name comma status All right here we have to write as a values question mark this question mark All right All right now here we have to surround with the try catch here All right after that what i'm going to do is here you have to write pst dot set string one this one should book control c to copy control v to paste here the same thing you have to control c to copy control v to paste here this one should be status second one should be status status right okay and this book name should be goes to here status should be goes here right so after that what i am going to do is here you have to create another variable int k equal pst dot execute update now right here is if k equal equal 1 j option pan dot so message this you have to write book adder book created else the same thing you have to control c to copy control v to paste here you have you have a error right that's the thing we have to do right so fact now after add the record what i'm going to do is here we have to clear the things so how to clear is you have to write here is uh, txt book dot set x clear after that the second one should be txt status dot get um, you have right get sorry set selected index minus 1 this one should be it's, it's used to clear the combo box right it's used to clear the combo box you have right after that we have to cursor should be focus on the txt book dot request dot focus request focus you have to call the method cursor should be fluid focus on this text box right uh, this is the thing we have to do now let's check whether it's working fine or not let's run the project and check right here i'm going to write what is the problem here when the project is run it show the error unknown database book unknown database book why what's the problem goes here ah uh, here local lost we have created the database name is book inventory right click copy paste here table name i have created book right i have given here the table name that's a wrong right the database name is book inventory inside the database we have created the table called book right so we have to give the name as book inventory table name as book that's a wrong right now let's run the project i have successfully now here we have to uh, book name i am going to give as java core click at book created click okay let's go to the database and check click this one table here it's added successfully all right perfect uh, once the record is added it's shown on the table here j table so how to do the task is let's close the project here what i'm going to do is here now what i'm going to do is here go to the here i'm going to create the new function here public void table update i just give the name as the table otherwise you can give here as uh, book load book load right any name you can give as a function name here right now here i am going to load the text right so first what i am going to, we already gave the connection above we no need the connection we only write the code only we have we need to write only the code so we have to write here is uh, prepare statement we have to get the prepare statement object here and here we have to call con dot prepare statement here we have to write select all from 
book all right that's it after that we have to write we have to create the another thing is you have to right click and import the try catch we have to create another things result set so you write result set object we have to create the result set object we have to import the class result set class here import for result set right after that we have to write here is uh, rs equal pst dot execute query right after that we have to write here is a result set result set meta data rsd equal rs dot get meta data right here we have to write we have to create the you have to create one variable c right here we have to write this one as a import the metadata class result set metadata class after that we have to write here c equal rsd equal sorry rsd dot get column count here we have to write default table model create the object as d equal we have to write control c copy we have to write default table model j table one dot get model so right after that we have to write d dot here we have to write this one as a import the what's the problem here default table model default table table right here the problem is here table table right this one you have to wrongly write now see the copy can be paste here right now here you have to import the this class after that we have to write here is d dot set row count right you can see right this one we have to load the table right now here after that we have to write the while loop so while while rs dot next we have to write here is next we have to write here vector class we have to write the vector class in java vector v2 equal new vector all right that's it now we have to import the vector class how do we write v2 dot so sorry we have to write another for loop for int i equal one i less than or equaling to c c mean this object this uh, variable right i plus plus right after that what i'm going to see you have to write here is v2 vector object dot add you have to add it as a rs dot get string try to get string you have to id first one should be the id right first one should be the id control c to copy control v to paste here this data are coming from the database columns what's the name here second one should be b name this one should be status these columns we have to write here b name b name this one should be status right that's it that's the thing we have to write okay after that what i am going to do is here you have to write here is d dot add row add row you have to write here is b2 here but add these things into row right that's the only thing we have to do right now this book load function control c to copy control v to paste when the form is here inside this constructor right we have to paste it right when the form is loaded this function should be loaded right now let's check whether it's working fine or not it's working fine here right now after add the record here it should be shown here right after 
uh, fill this form click cat button its self record should be shown on the table right so the same function what you are going to do is here control c to copy you have to call it here once you get the book created message you have to call it here this function will be loaded right now let's check php book name php activated click at click ok here it set up successfully perfect right now what i'm going to do is here after i uh, create how to add the records and how to view the records we see now we have to do the another stuff is how to edit and delete the records right first what i'm going to do is here first uh, when you uh, before edit and delete the record when you select the record the record should be displayed on the relevant text boxes here okay if you select this record this record need to be shown on this uh, form need to change okay so what i'm going to do is here we have to write the code for that so select this table right click event we have to write event we have to select a uh, mouse mouse clicked right now here we have to write the code here right here we have to write uh, default table model 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 right here d1 this one you have to call it as d1 the same thing you have to call copy this one control c to copy control v to paste here this one like this right after that we have to write j table one dot get model get model right after that what i'm going to do see you have to write int selector index equal j table one dot get selected row right now here we have to write int id equal d1 sorry here to write here integer dot pass dot pass int here we have to write d1 dot get value at here we have to write this one select at index is 0 dot to string right after that what i am going to do is here write here as uh, we have to pass into the value into the relevant text boxes first we have to write txt uh, txt book dot we have to write set text set text here we have to write set text we have to write d1 the same thing d1 dot uh, the same thing the same thing you have to write all right same thing right here also second first one table first one after that here we no need to convert the things these are strings right this is the integer variable so you have to control c to copy control v to paste this is only the thing we have to convert right second one should be this one should be status status this one should be set not selected text you have to write set selector item selected sorry not index selected item set selected item right this one should be two. all right now let's check select this one this activated oh, it's not ah, here it's working here ah, here it's working it's working now it's working all right it's working fine all right it's working fine data are passing successfully here if you check again here it's working fine all right now if you change the things and click edit button record should be edited right uh, before that we have to do another things if you select this record uh, the add we can't add the record we will be able to edit or delete the record so this button should be uh, disabled okay so we have to write when you select the record we have to write here as j what is the button name right click 
properties j button one so here we have to write j button one dot j button one dot here have to write here is set enable true right after that we have to write another thing is uh, uh, we change the things and click edit button record need to be edited so how to write is to here select the edit button right click event action action perform here what i'm going to do is here the same code copy control c to copy control v to paste below here we have to write thing is update first the table we are going to update the record but the table name we are going to update the record uh, book table set b name b name me book name this one equal question mark comma status equal question mark where id equal question mark right okay id equal question mark the same id this id right now, now what i'm going to do is see these two fields we have to copy right here this field here how to update the record is get the id this i get this id and update the record if you uh, select the record uh, the record should be display here the id should be display on the temporary variable here temporary variable here this variable it show this uh, this records are uh, display on this text boxes id should be save on the separate variable here this variable you have to get it so you have to, how to get it here is you have to copy this one code control c to copy control v to paste below right now get this id and update the record so here we have to set first one should be here second one should be the status third one should be control c to copy control v to paste this one should be you have to write this id variable here right that's the thing we have to do so here id should be int so you have to change the set string you have to change it as int right that's the thing we have to do here we have to write book updated right perfect now let's check whether it's working fine or not click on this one now here when you select the record the record should be display fine but the add button is not disable false so what's the wrong ah here the buttons enable i wrote as of true that's a problem right now let's check now this record i'm going to edit click on the record here what's the, click on the record right it's here it's enable false now here i'm going to remove this line click edit book updated click ok here it's working fine right after updated this uh, button should be uh, enable true so how to make it the same code control c to copy after update this code here enable true. right now let's check again click on this one click this record now here i'm going to remove instead of c sharp uh, php you have to write the book name as c sharp click edit book updated click ok here it's working fine right perfect now we will be able to edit the record now i'm going to teach another stuff he said how to delete the record right the same code the same update code right click event action action perform the same code i need to copy right need to copy control c to copy select the delete button right click event action action for you have to paste here. control v to paste here here what i'm going to do is here we no need this text box fields we no need only we get the id and remove the entire row right so we no need this stuff you have to only get the id and remove this one so we have to write the delete code here delete from which table i am going to delete the record book table how to delete where id equal what is the 
when you select the record here what is the id you are selected this id should be passing to this variable this variable here get it here here this one should be one because only one question mark there so you have to put one get the id and delete the entire row right uh, if you select this row uh, if you click this row entire row if you click this uh, record the what is the id of this row this i get the id and remove this entire row that's the thing we have to do here right so let's go do right now here book deleted right same thing right perfect here also back after delete the record also button one should be enabled right now let's check this one click on this record this one i'm going to delete if you click on this one you will be able to edit or delete I'm going to delete this time, click delete, book deleted, click OK, here it's deleted successfully, right. After that, if you click cancel the form, can uh, the form should be cancel it. So here how to cancel the form is, click on the cancel button, right click, event, action, action for form. Here we have to simply write here is, this, this current form dot set, uh, set visible true. So, sorry false set visible false right now let's check click cancel here it's close it right i hope i hope you guys you understood the tutorial well in my next tutorial i will be continue this book, book inventory control system system uh, book part right thank you for watching if you like my channel please subscribe me like me thank you for watching hi guys welcome to tutors funny channel uh, today i'm going to teach how to make the book inventory control system part 2 tutorial here this uh, this is the things we have created in our last class the same page this is the same form Cle select this one book.java this this is the form of book.java uh, right click copy select the package right click and paste and refactor copy right the same page i am going to get the copy okay so here this one should be i am going to change it as book part refactor right the same page we have to get the copy right the same book page we have to get the copy uh, book part right here right now here we have to change this title as book part book part right book part right here what i am going to do is here uh, first one should be uh, book name book name what I am going to do is here we have to text box we have to remove this one instead of the text box I am going to drag one the uh, drag one um, combo box so here this one right okay. after that second one should be I, I have to get the uh, uh, go to the label and drag another label this one should be part book part right it's a book part you can enter right book part right click properties font we have to select as with bold 14 click ok foreground color white right here book part i am going to get another combo box we have to another one this one we have to select this one right click properties model this existing model we have to backspace to remove them you have to create this one as a you have to give us part one part two part three is a book part part four part five right click ok these are the parts available in the books right after the same after that we have to select the book uh, name a uh, combo box right click properties go to the model here we have to remove them select and backspace to remove them click ok close it here we have to load the data from the database okay what are the books available if you go to the database here what are the books available these books we have to load it into the this combo box right the same thing right here then now we have to select this combo box right click change variable name we have to change it as txt b name, b name book name this one select 
change variable txt b part b part mean book part All right this one being right click change variable txt status we already uh, have a name because we copy this page from the book dot java page okay very simple okay if you are created another page and do the things it take too much time to complete it the existing if you create one page the same page you have to copy and paste right it is simple way to uh, complete the project right here all the things will be available here it's uh, this class should be changed it as a book part the everything should be available connection everything should be uh, there we have to change the needed right now what i'm going to do is here first we have to load this combo box so how to load is go to the source source here we have already connections are there we no need to write the connection again here first what i am going to do is here we have to write it here as uh, load the combo box so we have to write public we have to create another variable void this one should be uh, book book we have to create book right here we have to write here we have to load the book we have to write here is uh, pst prepare statement object we have to create a table a table here pst con dot prepare statement here we have to write select all from book we select all the books then we have to import the try catch here we have to write result set object we already created a table here you have to get the object result set of jrs equal pst dot execute query right here we have to write uh, t uh, first we have to this text box uh, we have to what is the name of this txt b name book name so txt b name name of the text box dot remove all items right after that we have to write here is the code we have to write the while loop to load it while rs dot next so if you have to write it txt we have to load the text what is the text box we have to load this text box name control c to copy control v to paste here we have to load here dot add item here we have to write rs dot get string we have to write as a this one should be two two mean here we have to write book name book name name with the field of this one one this one is two push on two that's why we have to put as two right that's the thing we have to write now here the book control c to copy control v to paste here on the form loop right here when the form is loaded it's called this function right okay that's the perfect right now let's check whether it's working fine or not go to the default con here customize when the form is also it's called the book page instead of the book page i am going to make this book part click ok now execute the program okay it's asked error we run anyway right here only one book is there why if i should okay it's only one book is there we have to add in the book right it's working for okay, perfectly it's working here it's working perfectly right now what i'm going to see we need another stuff is we have to this one we have to increase size then it's, it will be okay now now if you go here and check now it's working fine right it's working fine you will be able to select the part right after that what i'm going to do is here i'm going to now here I'm got I'm going to do is here. Here I'm going to uh, if I feel if I uh, select the book name and select the book part and click add button record should be added into the database. So let's go to the database, create the table. Click on this database, book inventory. I'm going to create the table here as book part. We need only four columns required. Click go. First one should be ID. 
primary with auto incremented second one should be book name here also watcher this one should be book part this watcher here also status right that's the thing we have to do you see these are the columns we have to create at uh, inside the table right book part table right click save right now your book part table as uh, column has been created successfully here right this is the columns right now what i'm going to do is go to the your project click add button select add button right click event action action perform now here this code this is the insert code we are written for the book table this day this uh, here instead of the book table we have to change this code as a book part so how to change as this one should be what's the name of this txt b name so we have to write here is uh, here we have to first one should be txt book uh, b name so we have to write here is the right string book name b name equal out right txt b name dot get selected item dot to string right how the second one should be the book part the same thing we have to control c to copy control v to paste here this one should be b book part so we have to create the variable as b part this one should be txt part book part sorry what is the name given here txt b part so b part txt b part right perfect after that third one should be uh, status so same thing control c copy control v to paste here this one should be status this also here also txt status right this one we remove them right right perfect right p when you select these values is successfully assigned to the relevant variables here now here we have to write the insert query for book part insert into which table you are going to insert the record book part table what is the columns available this is the columns right book name book part status so the same name you have to write here book name id should be auto incremented so you no need to add that after that status should be comma book name book part book part comma status status should be there right here book name book part status here we need one question mark here right perfect right now here what i'm going to do is here here b name this variable control c to copy control v to paste here after this copy this one paste here the second one should be this one book part is variable control c to copy control v to paste here third one should be status right it's go and add and add it here right the same thing right now here there also after add the record we have to clear all the stuff here we have to clear all the stuff so how to clear here is yes, here same thing this first combo box this one get it here dot set selected index minus one after that control c to copy control v to paste below second one this one control c to copy control v to paste here second one clear third one should be status clear right right that's the thing we have to do right here book part created not book created book part created that's the thing we have to do right now let's check whether it's working fine or not first i'm going to select the book c sharp says part one click add button book part created right now let's check now it's working fine it's working fine right after created the book part we have to load the table so how to load the table is we already written the code here book load here we have to write as this one as a book 
part load right here also select all from simply instead of the book we have to write as a book part here we have to change the relevant column names first one should be id second one should be book name book name same thing control c to copy control e to paste here this one should be book part right perfect perfect right after that what i'm going to do is here go to the design here we have to simply we have to design the table right you have to this one right okay what i'm going to do is here problem right now here select this uh, j table right click table contents we have to add the rows columns we have to change the columns first one should be uh, book part id this one not book id this book part id id second one should be book part uh, book name that one should be book part we have another fields we have to add that as this one should be status Straight. right perfect right perfect now let's go to the source this book part load function control c to copy control v to paste here not book load here instead of the book load you have to write book part load right same thing control c to copy when you add the record here also we have to after get book part created here also we have to load the table right that's the thing we have to do now let's execute the program and check here it's working fine everything should working fine right now what I am going to do is here, we have to add and uh, so, uh, edit and delete the record, right? First we have to select the record, record should be displayed here, we will be able to edit and delete the record, right? Now let's check whether how to do the things, right? Now let's go here, select the J table, right click, event, mouse, mouse clicked, here we have to write, ID is already there, we no need to write, this fields we know we have to write it again. So here first we have to write first txt b name dot b name this one. When you select this record, record should be displayed here. So here dot set selected item. Here we have to write d1 dot get value at here you have to write the selected index control c to copy control v to paste here you have to write one dot two string all right perfect dot control c to copy control v to paste here this one should be txt book part so we have b part this one should be 2 status will be 3 right we we'll make it as right like this 0 position mean this one id should be 0 uh, 1 mean this 2 mean this 3 mean this position i have set like this select right the other things are same now let's run and check select this one here it's successfully it's display here right it's successfully it's display here right uh, now what i'm going to do is here uh, i'm going to edit and edit the records we have to write the code so what i'm going to do is here here select edit button right click edit action action of perform here we here we simply what you are going to write this here we no need this edit code we have to remove it instead of that the same thing insert code we have to copy this insert code we have to copy Ctrl C to copy, Ctrl V to paste here. Right now here 
we have to all things are same and we have to change the code as as here as update which table you are going to update the record uh, book part table update book part set set we have to write the column what is the column first one should be uh, book name book name question mark comma book part equal question mark after that status equal question mark where id equal question mark right okay now we need only things we need edit id this id we need at this field right control c to copy when you select the item this id should be passing to the relevant variable get this id and update the record so let's get the id let paste it here this id so this id variable so here this first one should be go here second one goes here book part third one should be goes here id should be here to write control c to copy control v to paste here this variable this id this one should be four this one is set set it right that's the only thing we have to do in here book part updated not create updated right simple that's it that's fine that would, would be fine right now let's check Like this one i'm going to change the part as two now here what's the problem so select this one right now it's selected here it's id now select this one as a book part two active deactivated click edit button what's the problem status equal d here we are status deactivated here the near the status there will be the wrong so go to the code this is a code what's the wrong book part ah here we need a comma that's a problem we need a comma in between status and book part right uh, that's the things wrong i hope now let's run the run again select this one here to select as deactivated part 2 click edit again it will be the wrong what's the wrong near the syntax right near the syntax uh, right here the wrong right now here you have an error on the db version near right here the problem is here as well right now the problem is working now it's working Let's run the form. Now oh, yeah, it's working, right? Now here it's deactivated, right? The problem is here, right? I have a problem with this. Uh, and then the statement I have using here. That's the problem, right? Now it's working fine, right? This book is updated successfully. Now what I'm going to do is here. I'm going to create the delete part we have to do the delete part as well the same update code we have to copy the same thing you have to copy Control c to copy select this edit button delete button right click event action action perform we have to paste it Control v to paste here right now here what i'm going to do is here we have to remove these things we know needed get the id and remove the so you have to write the code here delete from which table I'm going to delete the record book part table book part where ID equal question mark right here we have to remove these two things got to ID one you have to put one right right get the ID get the ID and remove the entire row here also book part deleted 
that's the thing we have to do simple now let's check right now there, there is no error here display there, there is no error because uh, all the co code i have created uh, corrected now here select this row i'm going to delete book part deleted here there is no record will be shown here all right uh, I hope you guys you understood the video well if you have any doubt on this you can ask me anytime now here the another stuff is here after delete the things the uh, this button should be enabled button one control C to copy here also update also we have to do the stuff True. this things also control C to copy control V to paste here. delete also we have to do the same thing We have to do okay when you update the record after updated get the message after delete, delete or update the message get the message we have to uh, add button enable true we have to make it as enable true right when you select the record when you select this one the add button uh, enable false after edit the record it's enable true here right that's how I make it here right uh, book part I have uh, completed the video if you have any doubt on this you can ask me anytime if you like my channel please subscribe me like me thank you for watching hi guys welcome to tutors funny channel in our last class we saw the book part of the book inventory control system in this class i am going to teach the student part right now here uh, i am going to issue the books to student so uh, what i am going to do is here i am going to uh, create another uh, form which is a uh, sales page so uh, select this one uh, book part dot java the same form I'm going to get the copy so right click copy select the package right click and paste refactor copy this one here so you have to uh, change this page as sales sales right student sales we are case student sales right student sales right refactor right you got the copy successfully now i have i'm going to this pages we have to i have uh, open unnecessary documents i have close it right okay perfect now what i'm going to do is here uh, after that what i'm going to get the copy of the sales student this one same page i'm get the copy now here this one i'm going to change it as select this heading i'm going to change it as student right sales the sales of the book right now here i'm going to issue the books to student if the students uh, join the particular course we have to issue the book right so here what i'm going to do is here first i'm going to uh, design the form so here we need some f extra fields we needed so we let's arrange this one right now here what i'm going to do is here right now first one should be student id that one should be the must so here we have to do the first one should be the student id this one should be student id here in this uh, system i am not going to join the student because this is only the inventory management system of the book part only right uh, the student who joined the particular course we are issue the books right we are the this only we are cover about the book management system of the uh, school right this only thing we have to cover right we already have a student number so we have here we have to uh, drag one text box so here we go to the panel sorry palette drag one text box this one student id we have to enter the student name as well here so we have to we have to get another select this uh, label right click copy and right click and paste so get the copy and then this one should be 
this one student name right click here we have to write as student name right perfect student id student name right we need another text box text field so go to the palette and drag another text field this one drag here right right after that we have another two couple of fields we have we need uh, this one should be the book part we already have another thing is a book right which book you are issuing is going to issue and which uh, part okay book part one no part two or part three you have to give select here right so first what i'm going to do is here uh, we need another label copy and paste this one should be the book right that's it this one should be the that's the thing we have to do right now what i'm going to do is here the arrange them right perfect now this one should be the student id enter student id and rela enter relevant student na name after that issue the books to the student right the here what i'm going to do is select this uh, text box right click select the edit text remove the existing text select the text box again and change variable you have to write as txt id this one should be right txt id this one should be right click edit text backspace to remove the existing text select the text again change variable txt name this one should be name this one should be we already written uh, book name this one should be the book part right book part right so book part right now here uh, what i'm going to do is here uh, the if you enter the book the relevant this uh, this we have to remove this one this combo box instead of that we have to get another combo box here go to the palette and drag another one right right here what i'm going to do is here if you select a book uh, relevant part should be display here right so here uh, we have to uh, if the student uh, select the book here student name book we have to select and book part we have to select here and status we have to select right status we no need it we have to remove them this one we no need it right only thing we only four fields student id student name uh, book book part right only the stuff we have to available book part we have to load from the data database so let's go to the database you can check here uh, c sharp book part one part two i have put here this is a book name the status this is a book part book name book part right now here what i'm going to do is here this one should be right click properties we have to remove the existing models select and backspace to remove them and click ok right perfect right perfect right now what i'm going to do is here we have to load the combo box right so what i'm going to do is here first when you are we have to go to the default configuration and uh, so here can uh, customize we have to change this one as a we have to check the this one this page student sales this one student sales right click ok this one this page name is student sales right these are things we have to do now what i am going to do is here uh, now i am going to back to our database here i already i have created two tables book table and book part table uh, now i am going to go to create a, another table so uh, click on the database book inventory here here you will be able to create the table here uh, I, I have a student table these are the fields we have to create it. student id student name uh, book and part right book part so we have only we need four columns right so here we five column three here this one should be sales we just 
name it uh, uh, name the table name as sales right you can give any name uh, student sales it will be possible you can give any name as a table name right here these are the columns first i am going to uh, write the id this one should be uh, index uh, primary this one auto increment second one should be student number this one, this one should be the sales id this one student number sorry student id student id this one should be the watcher uh, this one should be student name st name this one should be watcher this one should be another thing is a book and book part right now you have to give here as book watcher this one should be book part this one should be watcher right these are the fields we have right now let's hit save button right now your uh, sales table has been created successfully right now here back to our project now we'll be able to write the code here right after fill all the stuff click add button record should be added into the database this table right now what i'm going to do is here this is the table we after add the record we have to show the records into this table so select this one and right click uh, here we have to uh, go to the table contents columns first one should be this one should be student id student id this one should be student name this one should be book part uh, book this one should be book part right these are the fields available in our data data table right now here close it right right now i have successfully created the table here right okay now what i'm going to do is here after that we have to load these two combo boxes this combo boxes we have to load the books this combo box we have to load the book part right uh, what i'm going to do is here go back to my database here these are the uh, book names right available c sharp java and p uh, photoshop and these are the uh, book part if you go to the book part if you go to the book part c sharp here this one should be the part one so part two right here the this one java part one right there will be the books part available right now here uh, now what i'm going to do is here i'm going to load them right now go to the code in this one we have to load so go to the source right now here in the source we have to hide this one right now this 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 code so we are uh, uh, code in our book part uh, part okay because i copy this uh, student student sales dot java page i copied from the book part dot java page so that the all the codes will be available right book part dot java code all the codes will be available we already wrote the code for the books right how to load the book right here here we have to load the codes here right it's already there in this page right we no need to write the code again right uh, or load the books right it's already available here now what i'm going to do is here when the form is loaded this combo box should load it book combo box should be loaded right so we already control c to copy control v to paste here right we already there because we uh, book part we already done those stuff here book part we already done those stuff it's available here uh, you don't worry about that this uh, we have this code is already available now um, let's check that one book sales right okay. right let's click start uh, run anyway because there will be the error here okay the, the i have copied this code from the book part dot jar so that the error should be there uh, don't worry about that we have to collect it, uh, correct it later on run anyway you can check here it's loaded the combo box successfully no problem right now what i'm going to do is here uh, another stuff what i'm going to do is here if i select the c sharp 
relevant part should be displayed on this text box right here if you select C sharp the relevant part part 1 and part 2 both are loaded here if you select Java only part 1 should be displayed if you select Photoshop part 1 should be displayed here right that's the task we need right now what I'm going to do is here so click on this one combo box book combo box if you select the books relevant part should be displayed below the book part combo box right so select this combo box right click event you have to select the event item item change right this event right so here what I'm going to do is here the same code we no need to write the code the same code book loaded code we have to copy it this code the same code right you no need the function you no need to co copy this function inside the function you have to copy uh, you have to copy from the try to catch right the same code I am going to get the copy and paste select this one event action action perform inside the here control V to paste here right you have to paste here that's the thing we have to do right that's the only thing you have to do now what I am going to do is see another stuff now now here we have to code right uh, what I am going to code is here uh, if you select the here if you run the application check if you select the course the relevant part should be displayed here so what I am going to do is here we have to write the code here is select all from book part where where book name book name equal question mark right so here this is a book book part table we have to uh, uh, retrieve the data so here we have to this is the, what is a combo box name we have to get the combo box name tx this one control c to copy you have to get we have to put it here dot get selected item get selected item dot to string right here we have to assign it into the variable we have to assign to the variable as uh, book part equal right where we have to assign it perfect now what I'm going to do is here after that what I'm going to do is here we have to write at the below pst dot set string one this book part we have to put it here right what is the book part here we have selected here we have selected it assigned into the variable here we have to call it here it's course here right right book part right sorry this is a, be a book not a book part it's a book sorry it's a book what is the book you have selected here it goes here book name right after that the relevant part should be display here on this text combo box so by each con combo box display this combo box and uh, we have to change variable what is the name of this one we have to change this name as txt b part mean book part right now here we have to display here right txt b part right what is the position of this this one should be third position combo box we have to get the position like this one two three this third position of the book right so third this position of third right now let's check whether it's working fine or not what's the problem here only part display book is not display why ah the problem is this we have to the result set object we have to with the same object here result set when you load the book i have put the when this one the problem is this this one book load ah here here book result set the object i have created as a same thing so we have to create another result set if you get this kind of error the easy way to have to solve them like this you have to get the another control C to copy, control V to paste. You have to uh, 
uh, you have to make another resource set object rs1 you have to make another prepare statement object ps1 right this one for book this one for uh, book part this one for book this one for book part right so we have to change them that's the thing we have a problem the same thing right so here we have to change this one as a pst1 the second query this is a pst1 this is a pst1 this one should be rs1 this one should be rs1 that's the thing we have to do right this one should be rs1 right that's the only thing we have to do uh, now let's check whether it's working fi fine or not let's run the co program and check again why the dog book is not loaded why so what's happened now let's control x to cut off this one and check now it's loaded now why what's the problem control with paste here the, the error should be there here's the error what's the error should be here select all from book part where book name so book name is correct equal this one so here everything is perfect and what is the problem book part so right right this a problem is the control c to copy control v to paste here, here remove item this also you have to put it here right now it's working fine right here if you select c sharp the relevant part should be displayed part one part two if you select java part one only available if you select a photoshop part one only available the problem is this book part remove all light this one book part right where the record is to display this combo box so first we have to remove if, if there is any excess item we have to clear clear off all the stuff after that we have to load right that's the problem right now we are we have already done all the stuff now what i'm going to do is here here i'm going to the source the error i'm going to comment it we know need this this these are the error so we have to comment this one these text boxes are not there that's why this show there because this uh, all codes we are copying from the book part dot java so that with these things are not available you have to comment it right that's the thing we have to do right that's it there's no error right now let's run again there are is there where is there error right here also right here one error right here now it's working fine right now if you select the java java selected right now what i'm going to do is here i'm going to write the uh, uh, enter the student id student name click add button record should be added into the uh, table right j table okay so what i'm going to do is here select the add button right click event action action perform uh, this code we are written for the uh, uh, book part insert instead of that we have to rewrite for the uh, student says right so here what i'm going to do is here we have to write um, student id student name so we have to what's the uh, text box this one txt id this one should be txt name right so here what i'm going to do is here you have to write here txt txt id this one should be not a uh, we remove them it is easy to identify right. txt id dot get text right here we have to assign to the relevant variable string id the student id you have to write as yes, sid same thing you have to control c to copy control v to paste below this one we have to make it as a s name means student name third one should be book txt b name mean book name same thing you have to control c to copy control v to paste this one should be txt b name now right here is dot get selected 
item dot to string this one should be book name to book right same thing control c to copy control v to paste this one should be book part check out right here is b part right that's the thing you have to write after that what i am going to see insert into in mean which table you are going to add the record sales table right this is the column you are going to add the record so we have to write the columns name properly you have to get the screen look like this it's easy to write the one right this table name is sales the sales table first of all field should be first this one should be auto increment id no need to write you have to write this one right uh, student id st name means student name book we have to write a book how many columns available student name so student id student name book book part only four one four so we need another question right now here we have to set into the relevant variable here so here this one so we have to get another two things control c to copy we no need this one control v to paste here first one should be this one control c to copy control v to paste here second one third one this one fourth one Here three, this one should be four. Right? This off you have to set. Right? Here you have right student book issued. Book issued. Right. That's the message we have to write. Okay. This is the thing we have to do. Simply we have to do book issued. Right? Now after book issued, we have to clear all the stuff. We have to clear all the stuff, relevant stuff. We have to clear. Mm, we have to clear like this. First one should be this one. Text box. Control C to copy. Control V to paste here. Dot. Set text. To clear. Same thing. Control C to copy. Control V to paste here. The second one should be your clear this txt name. Right. Other things are there. Txt name it is clear. Right. Thing we have to do. Right. Now let's check. Student name, student ID. We have to uh, s zero 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 one. We have to make it as zero 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 one. Name uh, John is a student. We have to give, give uh, issue the book is Java part one. We have to issue click add button book issued right now let's check whether it's working fine or not sales part here it's working fine records are added successfully book name is book java part right perfect right now what i'm going to do is after add the book we have to load into the table right book this table book part uh, this one right so what i'm going to do is here this is a book part load right so here what I am going to do is here we have to write select all from what's the table sales table what is the columns are there you have to put here first one should be ID second one student ID after that ST name after that book after that book part right that's the thing we have to do right we have to uh, write now here there is not a book part this one should be the sales slope it's a sales slope we have to write a sales slope sales slope control c to copy when the form is loaded this function should load it after insert the record this function is loaded so we have to call the function two times when the form is loaded this function get loaded after that when you add the record here event action action performed here after add the record we have to load this one as well right now let's check them whether it's working fine or not right ok 
Okay, it's working fine. Okay, it's working fine. Fine. Right? Ah, right. When the form is low, right? Now here the thing is, I have called this function. When the form is low, here why 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 this one is there? Uh, when the form is load, yeah, I have called this function book load so that there this book right book function so that the relevant part should be displayed right so right now I'm going to give the student to the Photoshop student ID s0002 student name Peter click and book issue click ok now what's the problem why it's not working it's not a problem it's added successfully it's not loaded into the table right that's a problem now if you close now it's loaded why the if you add the record it's not loaded the table the problem sales load I call the function successfully sales load why it's not loaded it's loaded sales loaded folder I have called mm, what's a problem Control X to cut off, control V to paste here. Now we have to try. So number we have to write so three. Put like this. That bookie shoot. Right. Now it's working successfully. Here it's working. Right? We have to put after get the message, we have to I have to put the function like this. Right? That problem it's short. Right. It's working fine. Right? perfect I hope you guys you understood the things well uh, you must try the edit and delete part uh, on the student sales part okay uh, if you want to edit this one you will be able to edit and delete right edit and delete part I have covered in my uh, previous tutorials uh, book uh, book and book part right you have the same thing you have to do here right if I did uh, the, the same thing again it take too much of time to complete this uh, book inventory control system project right you have to try that that one right uh, thank you for watching if you have any doubt on this you can ask me anytime if you like my channel please subscribe me like me thank you for watching hi guys welcome to tutors funny channel uh, today I'm going to teach the book search part of the tutorial uh, here what I'm going to do is here if I enter the student ID the relevant uh, student uh, details and name should be displayed okay so go to the package book package is a package right click new J frame from here I'm going to give as a search you have write the name of class name is search finish right now here what I'm going to do is here here I'm going to create the simple go to the panel drag the panel here right now here what I'm going to do is here right click and properties we have to change the background color as this one click ok after that what I'm going to do is here I'm going to drag one label and one text box right now okay, this one right click and edit you have to student number 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 right here we will be check this day we will be issue the books or not right of this number right we easily check right so let's click on this number uh, label right click properties font we have to change it as bold and we have to 14 and foreground color as white we change it as white color right perfect this one click on this one edit text remove the existing text we have to change the name as txt id 
right after that we need to another one is a j table so we have go to the palette and set j table we have to put it here right perfect right now here select this one it's the same thing we have to write here the same thing same information student id student name uh, student name book and uh, student id student name book and part we have to same thing right here student id student id student name name and book book part should be displayed string string this one should be string right all the stuff will be displayed right if the, if you enter the right student number the relevant data should be displayed here right now here we have to write the one uh, button we have to put it here right this one should be select this one we have to rename the search search that's the thing we have to do right after that what i'm going to do is here uh, these rows defaultly come we have to remove them select the j table right click uh, table contents select the rows select the row and click delete button you can delete the way look like this now all the row will be deleted right perfect now what i'm going to do is here if i enter the student number click search uh, we will be easily filter the record here right whether this uh, student is uh, get the book or not right it is easily we can find it here so click the now here uh, click the search button we have to search the record so uh, right click event action action perform here what i am going to do is here first we have to establish the connection between the database connection here so let's go to the form which is uh, i go to the uh, book part dot java here we have a connection we already written here this one should be the connection object uh, prepare statement and connection this is the connection we have all the stuff we have to copy and back to my search dot java page you have to paste them right this one show needed after that what i am going to do is you have to control c to copy this connection this object uh, this sorry this function you have to paste when the form is loaded right when the form is loaded right if you paste it here it's automatically uh, all the names is, should be created if it is not created you just right click can select the uh, package right it's creating the name spaces right that's the way you have to write okay now what i'm going to do is here here we have to write the code simply you have to write uh, this one should be we have to load the table right we simply we no need to write this that one here how to load this table this code we have to get this is this how we have to load the table right this how we have to got the uh, load the table we just copy from the try to catch right you no need to uh, write from the beginning so go to the search button action action perform here you have to inside this uh, button you have to paste them right now we have to change them right select uh, how to change this is select all from which table i'm going to find the record sales table where student id student id the student id student id here student id equal question mark right now here what is the we have to what's the name txt id right when the user enters text id and click search so here we have to write the variable string student number st number equal you have to write here txt id dot get text right it assigned to this variable this variable you have to call it below pst dot set string one you have to pass this one here now it's searched right search and pass the result to the relevant uh, columns right here right that's the only thing we have to do right 
now let's check whether it's working fine or not right the only simple stuff right this is the we are entering the number on this text box click search relevant details should be displayed here so here we have to change the columns column is this one student id student names student id student name book book part right this one should be student id student id student name st name book book part right that's the thing we have to do this is the relevant columns available here right now let's check right now we enter the number student number i'm going to enter as uh, here we have the number what is the number these are the available now i'm going to enter this one s0001 right is 0001 click search relevant details should be displayed right if you enter the 4 004 here so our name is nira this is the book right? c sharp book name part 1 part 2 right you can get the data easily look like this right 002 click peter photoshop part 1 right it's very easy stuff to filter the record look like this right Uh, i hope you guys you understood so far now what i'm going to do is here i'm going to create the main menu right it's very easy stuff so let's go to the project uh right here now select the package book right click new here frame here i'm going to give us a name as main click finish all right now here i'm going to get the main menu right here what i'm going to do is here we need a buttons so very easy stuff this one should be the buttons so we have to uh, uh, get the panel go to the palette and drag one panel like this now here what are the right click properties we have to here border you have to select this border simply you have to impose border you have to select them right now here we have to uh, put buttons first one should be book this one should be book creation right second one should be book part creation right third one should be issue book to student this is issue book issue book fourth one should be this one should be search right search perfect now let's make a link for them right first page this one uh, this is a main part so here we have to put the heading here go to the palette drag one label here this one should be book inventory right this one we have to right click properties here we have to change the font size as with bold 36 you have to let's make as uh, 24 it's perfect right here right right now what i'm going to do is here uh, we have to we have uh, all the options available now the one option we need the button for the exit button we needed so here we have to make this one as a exit button exit right now let's make the link select this uh, book button right click event action action perform here we have to write as uh, book page so book b equal new book here we have to write the object b dot set visible true it's goes there set visible true right at the same time 
the current form should be height so we have to write like this uh, this dot so we no need to hide that one this is mean when we no need to hide right the same thing control C copy second one this one right click event action action perform this page we have to make it as a book part this one should be book part get the object as B part B part book part right this one should be part B right same thing control C copy this one issue book right click event action action perform this one should be control V to paste this one should be student sales student sales control C to copy control V to paste here right third one should be search right click action this one search here we have to paste it the same thing control C to copy control V to paste here here we have to change this one as a uh, search page so search Control C to copy Control V to paste here this one should be search after that here this one should be exit so here we have to write if it is exit we have to uh, write later this one so here we have to first we have to select the book page select the frame right uh, select the frame right click properties code right center is there you have to make sure all the forms uh, when th when the form is loaded it it should be at the center this one should be at the center uh, search we didn't make as a center right click properties code generate center fine after that uh, student sales select this one properties codes right all the stuff are fine now let's go to the default configuration here we have to make this one as a main it's starting from the main click ok now let's check them it's working or fine or not right main here the form is not at the center select this one properties code generate center close it now let's check right perfect this is our main panel click the book right you will be able to register the book here right if you cancel it cancel book part you will be able to do the same stuff cancel it issue book here also you will do the stuff cancel search we know we don't have a search uh, cancel button we, we we have to put the search as search also have a cancel button so you have to write like this a search we need a here cancel. simply put one button cancel this one right click event action action perform here we have to write simply uh, this dot set visible false right now let's check whether it's working fine or not right now let's uh, uh, click search click cancel all right okay it's a simple one I have made it uh, I hope you guys you understood the things well if you have any doubt on this you can ask me anytime in my next tutorial i'll be teaching the login form right if you enter the correct username and password it, it will be successfully logged into the system i'll be explaining my next tutorial if you have any doubt on this you can ask me anytime thank you for watching hi friends welcome to tutors funny channel uh, in our last class we saw the uh, main uh, main part of the a book inventory control system here in this class i am going to teach the login form right now what i'm going to do is here go to my uh, this is my project book inventory select the package book this one right click new j frame form here we have to do the class name as login finish right now your uh, form has been created successfully here now what I'm going to do is here uh, I'm going to go to the um, palette and drag one panel here right click properties 
here, here we have to select the border property this one you have to uh, bevel this one border click ok close it now what I am going to do is here go to the palette drag the label and we have to drag to text boxes and we have to drag two buttons This one should be login. This one should be cancel. Right here, we need to put one adding this one here as I am going to press login. Select this one, right click properties, uh, fonts. We have to increase the font size as 24 big bold click ok perfect now here we have to make it as a bold 236 we have to make it as right perfect right the simple one we have to make right now here we have to select this one label edit we have to use a name this one should be username this one should be password edit password right now here this text box select and edit text backspace to remove this one select edit text backspace to remove right now select this uh, text box change variable txt user click ok this one select change text txt pass click ok right now what I am going to do is I am going to write the code for that select the login button event action action perform here we have to check right first I am going to create two variables uh, spring variables I am going to create spring user name equal txt user dot get text after that we have to create another one is a string pass equal txt pass dot get text right now here I am going to check if the user enter the username and password if the username and password correct it successfully log in to the main page right if the username and password uh, do not match it show the error invalid username or password right we have to do the validation like this so here we have to check the condition if username dot equals we have to check here equals we have to uh, give the username as admin password and and we have to check and operator using and operator should check and here we have to check password pass dot equal into equals to one two three right if the username and password is correct it's it's, it's uh, login to the main form so we have to write uh, main form right this one page right so we have to write main m here create the object m equal new main current form we have to hide so we have to write simply write this dot set visible false we have to write right like this false me dot uh, m dot set visible true show the form main form right if the username and password correct if the username and password do not match go to the else part 
you have to show the error as j option pan dot show message show message dot show message dialog this here we have to write username or password do not match username or password do not match right this is a thing we have to show right now let's check whether it's working fine or not right go to the default configuration here we have to set this one as a login when the login is on click login click ok right here when the form is loaded it should uh, load at the center so right click properties code generate center close it now we will be able to run again right here we have right admin one two three click login we'll be able to log in the system successfully now here if you want to log the system as a uh, correct uh, wrong username and password username and password do not match now i have to uh, cover another stuff is password field is not uh, show to everyone it he have to give the things as password character here so that what i'm going to do is here select the text box you have to remove them instead of that we have to go to the palette you have to search the things password field text box you have to put it here right here select this one right click edit text backspace remove the existing text select again change the name as txt pass click ok right now let's check everything's perfect now let's check admin 1 2 3 it's working fine click login it goes to the phone right now i have created one cancel button so select the cancel button right click event action action perform here we have to write the code to cancel the page so you have to write system dot exit zero it will be cancel it right that's the thing we have to write uh, now another stuff we have to do is uh, we have to yeah we have to run it you can check if it can cancel system should be cancel it right now what i'm going to do is here go to the main.java here i have written one exit button if it is exit uh, instead of exit exit we have to change this one as a logout right if you press logout button it's it goes to the login page right so you have to write action action perform you have to write like this login l equal new login l dot dot yeah it's a problem login ah here yeah, the problem is here and this will write like this l dot set visible true at the same time this dot set visible false current form you have to write right this thing we have to write right now let's run and check right here now admin one two three click login you will be able to log in the system now if you want to log out the system click log out here it will be log out the system successfully now another important stuff we have to do is go to the login.java page here if the username and password do not match it show the error At the same time we have to clear the text box as well so we have to write txt user dot set text clear same thing controls copy this control c to copy control v to paste here this one should be pass you have to clear after that we have to cursor will be focused on the txt user dot request focused we need to focus on here 
That's the thing we have to do. Right now, let's check. Here, do not match. Click OK here. Form should be clear and focus here. If you enter the right username and password and click login, you will be able to log in the system. Right? You will be everything will be fine. Perfect. Right. Very simple system. Uh, I made it. Very simple system. I made it. Everything fine. Uh, you must try this one. If you have any doubt on this, you can ask me anytime. If you like my channel, please subscribe me, like me. Thank you for watching.